Have you ever looked at Gary Tan's thumbnails and thought to yourself, dang, I would like one of those thumbnails? Well, today I'll talk about how you can create thumbnails like Gary Tan for free. And also this is my first video on the channel, so obligatory smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and hit that bell for them notifications. What am I talking about when I talk about Gary Tan's thumbnails? He has these really cool ones where he is in the background and there he's basically lower opacity. Maybe we'll do that in a different one. Let's start with ones where that are more like this, these founder interview ones. So we're gonna use Kapoing, which is a free tool online. Um, I have a pro account, but that's partly because I work there. So if you sign to Kapoing, or you can use it without signing in, you can create new content on the studio. And what we're gonna do is start with a blank canvas. And thumbnails are 720p, I believe. So we're gonna go, I'm just gonna use custom output size just to really, really make sure this is exactly uh, the size I want. So it's gonna be 1280 by 720p. You could just use this 16 by nine which is the right ratio, but I want to be perfect here. First thing I want to do is pick a background color. I really like using coolers just for color selection. So I'm just gonna spin that roulette until I kind of see a color I really like. Ooh, I like this Carolina blue. So I'm gonna grab that hex code and on the right hand side, when you click the background, you can change the background color by entering a hex code here. And that looks pretty good. I actually think it's this one here. But you know what? Life's a mystery. So the next step is to make sure you have some respectable photo of your subject. So I will use a headshot I got from a while ago. So I will use it. And we're gonna want to erase some of the background. So we have this erase feature. And if you have a really solid background, this step is pretty easy because you can just select it. That was a little too much and get rid of it. If you don't have a clear background, it'll be a little harder, but definitely possible. Let's see how quickly I can do this. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay, so when you're done, just click done. And it's a little choppy. You can kind of perfect it yourself, but you know what? We're not here for perfection. We're here for speed. And then, oh, there's actually these little side pieces here I kind of want to get rid of. So I will erase them manually by using the manual erase. And then you're done. And then I will create the text. Uh, you can pick whatever font you want. I use Roboto Slab quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So I will say Gary. Gary Tan Thumbnail 60 Seconds. I'll make that bold. I will turn that white. I'll make that left aligned. Kind of resize it so it's a bit larger. In 60 seconds. I'll move myself a bit. See, how does that look? You know what? That's not bad. I like to do sort of a dual tone. So I'll put this is channel I'm using is called Fail Flow. Kind of use a dual tone here. Make that bold. Make that a little bigger. Actually, probably a little smaller. And let's just pick some complementary color. I'll just go with kind of like this orange. That's it. You can just click export image and you should be done. There you go, you've got your image and that took me less than 60 seconds. You can definitely clean this up quite a bit using the background remove or pick a better image. And then in a different one, I will talk about how to maybe do that opacity one that Gary Tan likes to make. 